Hi there! Welcome to this MCSI video. My name is Anna and I'm one of your cybersecurity instructors. In this video we will discuss the basic terminology regarding risk. You may have a general understanding of risk up to this point. However, there are other aspects that must be considered while calculating risk, like asset value, threats, likelihood, etc. Let's understand these concepts and how they relate to each other. An asset is something tangible or intangible that holds value for the organization and requires protection. Examples of assets include people, infrastructure, finances, and reputation. A threat is the potential cause of an unwanted incident. In other words, a threat is something that can harm the asset. Some examples of threats include human errors, theft, malware, natural disasters, and much more. A vulnerability is a weakness in a system that allows a threat to compromise its security. It can be a software, hardware, procedural, or human weakness that can be exploited. Some examples of vulnerabilities include weak passwords, using unpatched software, an open port on a firewall, and much more. A risk is the likelihood of a threat exploiting a vulnerability and causing a corresponding business impact. Risk ties the vulnerability, threat, and likelihood of exploitation to the resulting business impact. The likelihood is the probability of the occurrence of threat. The impact is the magnitude of harm that can be expected to result if the risk materializes. An exposure is an instance of being exposed to losses. A vulnerability exposes an organization to possible damages. For example, if password policies are not properly enforced in a company, it can lead to users' passwords being compromised and used in an unauthorized manner. Let us understand how these terms relate to each other. A threat exploits the vulnerability which then leads to risk. If this risk materializes, it can damage the asset and causes an exposure. For example, if a company has anti-malware software but does not keep the signatures up to date, this is a vulnerability. This vulnerability can be exploited by a threat such as a virus showing up in the company's network. The risk is the likelihood of a virus infiltration and the resulting exposure to the company's assets such as disclosure of private customer data. I hope you now have a good understanding of these risk management related terms. In the next video, we will discuss the risk identification process. Stay tuned. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!